Today is the 30th anniversary of the sinking of the Argentine cruiser General Belgrano by a British submarine. More than 300 Argentinian sailors lost their lives and the decision to fire the torpedoes remains controversial. Vice Admiral Tim McClement was serving in HMS Conqueror when the order came through. Rosie Layden went to meet him at the Royal Navy Submarine Museum in Gosport. At the start of the Falklands campaign, Britain assembled more than 100 ships but only two aircraft carriers and the Navy was convinced the loss of either of these would stop the UK recapturing the Falkland Islands. The Belgrano was perceived to be part of a group posing a threat to the carriers. This is how Britain heard the news of the sinking. The Argentinian cruiser, General Belgrano, was hit by torpedoes fired from a British submarine. Within minutes, the ship was sinking. Vice Admiral Sir Tim McClement was second in command on board HMS Conqueror, and he remembers the mood inside the submarine after the torpedoes were fired. The immediate reaction when we first the heard the first torpedo hit was a cheer because we'd done our job properly. Within seconds, you could have heard a pin drop as everyone had their own thoughts about the fact that we had damaged the ship with over a thousand sailors on board. They were fellow sailors doing what their government had told them to do, just as we were doing our job. The sea was cold, the sea state was getting up and they were a long way from home. It's well known the Belgrana was outside the 200 mile exclusion zone and heading away from the islands. And questions were asked then and remain today about whether or not the attack was justified. At the time, Admiral Woodward, who was the task force commander, had to attack what he saw. There was belief that there was a pincer movement from three different forces. To the southwest of the islands, the Belgrana group, to the west, some destroyers and frigates, and to the northwest, their aircraft carrier, all aiming at our carriers. If either of our carriers had been damaged or sunk, that would have been the end of the UK's ability to regain the islands. Because of that, um, Admiral Woodward sent submarines to find the groups. Conqueror was in contact with the Belgrana group, Splendid and Spartan didn't find the other two groups, so he had one of the groups. He therefore said this is a military necessity to take out one of the threats to the task group. So militarily it was exactly the right thing to do. And how do you think the incident affected the campaign? Do you think it influenced the outcome? Yes, the, the, the first thing was having sunk it, that group was therefore no longer a threat to the UK task force so the Admiral, Admiral Woodward could then concentrate his forces against the other ships. But what we didn't realise at the time was it was, had an, a strategic effect because it drove the Argentinian Navy back inside their 12 mile limit and they never took any further part in the war. So it was a huge effect which saved a, a large number of lives I believe.